In this sequence of projects for Scratch, we continue to reinforce and introduce a variety of coding practices and concepts largely centered around modularity, while continuing to introduce coders to a variety of tools and blocks. Our sequence begins with a project where coders use a new pen block to create a spray painting app that allows users to create street art. We then further reinforce our understanding of the stamp block by creating an architect app that allows users to create their own architecture or scenery using sprites from a menu bar. The following game combines the concepts and understandings from previous projects to create a funny looking jump scare that occurs when a player's sprite touches a hidden object in a level. The food catcher game introduces how to use variables to keep track of a player's score and to change the speed of a falling sprite. The following project asks coders to work with a partner to transfer their understandings of variables into a multiplayer catching game that builds off the previous project's extensions. The following story challenge asks coders to create a story with multiple backdrops using a limited number of block types to encourage creativity within constraints. Our next project asks coders to simulate lifelike movements or animations by adding custom costumes and functions to a sprite. These concepts are further reinforced in the following challenge, which asks coders to create a short story, dance, or game with a randomly generated sprite. The Pass It On project includes several story starters that coders use to add on to a story before passing their stories to a different friend each day, who each add a new scene to the story. This process encourages communicating and learning to code by building off of each other's projects. This sequence concludes with a synthesis project that asks coders to reflect on a theme, such as what they learned in Scratch over the year. Each project includes a number of resources designed to assist a range of coders and facilitators from beginner through expert. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.